know there must be some trick mechanism to open this thing. I don't know how there is. I've looked all over, Daddy. Well, Sugar Bear, I'll find it. Your old man's not giving up until he's getting inside. I hope you can do it before I leave on my ski trip. If it's that hard to open, whatever's inside must be very important. Sugar Bear, you never told me where you got this thing from. I thought for sure that bird statue would keep charity bonkers for years. I mean, it must have lost its potency. I don't know what else could have happened to you. Daddy, I left my ski gloves in the front hall closet. I'll be right back. Okay. Well, I guess I've met my match. I'm gonna need help from Eve after all. Okay. Hey, I hope you're ready. This ski trip is gonna be the turning point in my relationship with Miguel. No offense, but I'm not. I'm not holding my breath. You'll see. I really think that Charity's starting to lose ground with Miguel now that I got that bird statue to freak her out. Of course, I wish I knew where it could have gotten to, but... You know what? Forget about the bird statue and help me bring my bags downstairs. They're very heavy. What did you pack, Simone? We're only going to be gone a couple days. Let me get my lipstick. I love the light in your upstairs bathroom. My God, I don't believe it. What are you doing with this, Simone? Traitor, you took this from Charity's hospital room when you went to go get your backpack. So what if I did? What you were doing to her was awful. You drove your cousin insane with this thing. I did not. Charity was already three quarters of the way there. You're lucky I'm in such a good mood. I forgive you because everything worked out the way I wanted to, just the same. Gee, thanks, Kay. No problem. We need to keep this bird safe and sound in case I need to use it again. Let's get your bag so we can hit the road, Jack. Hold on a minute, Simone. Oh, Ma, we were just heading out. Not so fast, girls. I want to have a word with both of you. What's up, Mom? We're running sort of late, Dr. Russell. This will only take a few minutes. I know you're both excited about the ski trip, but I want you to be careful. Oh, we will, Mom. Kay and I have been skiing since we were kids. We know all the slope and the lift rules by heart. That's not the kind of careful that I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Dr. Russell, but Simone and I know about the facts of life. You don't have anything to worry about there. Oh, well, I hope not. I guess I don't need to remind you about Deborah Simpson at last year's ski trip. Oh, who could forget? She got pregnant, had to drop out of high school, and forget about college so she could go to work to support her baby. Don't worry, Mom. I wouldn't be so dumb that I'd do something like that that could destroy my whole future. I want to be more like you. Oh, all right, then. Have a wonderful time. <laughs> Call if you need anything. I'll <laughs> okay. see you when you get back. Bye. <laughs> Just because I don't want to have a baby doesn't mean I want to stay a virgin my whole life. What are you talking about, Kay? Tonight is the night Miguel is going to make me a woman. I even got protection. No way. I hope one box is enough. <laughs> Shh. Well, let's go get your stuff. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I can go get my bags. I can take care of myself. They're not that heavy. Okay. okay just go and I'll meet you outside. Okay, well, make sure you put this bird statue somewhere safe and sound. Oh, don't worry. Okay. Where I'm going to put you, you're going to be very safe. Hey, I just called the school and they said the bus is on its way. Great. Hey, where'd you stash that bird... In case I ever need to send Charity back to the world of wackos. Um, in my closet. Way, way in the back. Good. It's here, Simone. 
most romantic, wonderful weekend of my entire life is about to begin. Without charity. Come on, what are you waiting for? Okay, you go ahead. I have to tie my shoe because it's untied. Okay, well, hurry. Later, bird. You've caused way too much trouble. 